It's Rick and Sasha with George Wilborn. And Sasha, we got the one, the only, Tawanda Braxton. Hi. Yes. Hi. I'm not going to say I have favorites, but you know me and Tawanda quite That's close. Girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. How's the whole family? Doing? Where is everybody? Everybody. Well, mommy's here. Trina's here. My father just got here a couple of okay. days ago. Um. But Tony and Tamar are in L.A. and Tracy's in Maryland. And my brother. Did your father bring his wife? Is he? he s- who's he, he staying with? Who's he staying with? The mess. They have a place. The mess is starting <laughs> already. Jeez. That's okay. I'm just. That's okay. Because so we here. already like. <laughs> he, they actually have a house over by the airport. Oh, okay, okay, good. Because we don't want no issues with Miss right. Evelyn. Okay. <laughs> Now, I got to say, you know, Tony, your sister, Tony Braxton, she was so nice to come on the show with us and just share her her quarantine life. And she yes. announced that she and Birdman will be tying the knot. We got yeah, it from her first. Wow. Yeah, I was like, I wow. That's an amazing. That's amazing. Too. <laughs> had, had, had you known that already or no? I mean, yeah, but, you know, I know a lot of stuff. Right. So glad that she was able to spill the tea with you guys. I yeah. Mean, you know, that's a great situation. Yeah. So obviously that's something that everybody, um, your family has been trying to keep it close to the vest or, or respect uh, t- uh, Tony and, and Birdman's privacy. So I, I've seen I all of you all attempt to do that as, as much as possible, it seems. We like. try. We try. <laughs> <laughs> but now since she has said it, then we're free to speak about it. Right. Sure. How do you feel about it then? <laughs> well, I can't wait for the wedding. I'm telling you something, I can't wait for the wedding because I'm going to cut all the way up. What? Yeah. Are you going to help coordinate it? Or no, because I'm I'm, not. So you're going to stay out of it? I'm completely out of it. I mean, I know I'm saying that now, and usually what happens, like even with Trina's wedding, um, I, you know, I just kind of fill the void of, of making sure that her day was special. So if I see that something isn't right, that's the only way that I step in. But other than that, I'm not organizing and coordinating anything. Do you see your sister as being just a cool and calm uh, collective bride or bridezilla? Which one do you think is going to happen? Give me a bridezilla. Give me a bridezilla. Absolutely. Wow. I think we all have that little thing within us. I think every woman has that within them. Or is it a Braxton thing? It's a Braxton thing. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> hey, Tawanda, what happened the other day? And if you guys don't know, usually Tawanda and I get together weekly. And we just have some conversation, cocktails, or whatever. No. What happened? The- what happened the other day on your Instagram and someone said something and you went ballistic? What happened? Wait, wait, wait. I feel there's one of those moments coming. Uh, <laughs> All right, listen, tell us when we come back in 10 minutes. Rick and Sasha with George Wilborn. We're talking to Tawanda Braxton. It's Rick and Sasha with George Wilborn. We're talking to Tawanda Braxton of the Braxton family. All right. Now, you were telling us how you had to get on a troll on social media. Well, you know, sometimes you get tired of these trolls and okay. this particular troll. They can talk about me all day. But if you talk about my kids, and they can oh, start, start okay. attacking my family members, all of that whole combination. That wasn't good that day. And I had time that day. Actually, I have time now since we're all in quarantine. <laughs> OK, <laughs> you can address that mess. huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Because I, I had never seen you go off like that. Yeah, yeah, it was just a lot. Was it a okay. video? Was it a post? What what happened? Yeah, it's on there. You, you'll be able to go back. You can look at it. But oh, then God. I snap right back and get right back to the core of what I was speaking about. Right. I just don't, at that time, I'm just like, you know, enough is enough. You know, it's enough that's going on outside our doors than right. for us to fight against each other and say things against each other. And that's the main thing that, you know, we need to understand is as long as we are uh, fighting together, then we shouldn't be. I, I just didn't think that was cool. When you when okay. you when you post stuff, do you say, oh, why did I do that? Or are you kind of person to say, I said what I said? I said what I said. That would be me. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So speaking of kids and being at home, you know, we've been seeing everything happen on television with George Floyd um, yes. from city to city. People are protesting. Kids are speaking out. Parents are talking to your children. Uh, ha- have you had that conversation too soon? I mean, talk to us. 
You know, I had a, I had a boy and a girl. So right. I had the conversation with my son like a few years ago. Like, listen, son, if you get pulled over, regardless of what it is, if you're walking, if you're playing basketball with your friends, if you're riding your bike, I don't care what it is. If a police officer pulls you over for any reason, comply. Just say, yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Um, and just follow the rules, right? So now since George George Floyd has happened, I'm like, I don't know what to teach my son because mm -hmm. even George Floyd, he was he was he was complying with the police officers, you know, um, he was following their instructions and then he was murdered. Mm. So I don't know what to teach my son. Yeah. I think we're all in the same situation, but we don't know what to say now because you do the right thing and he's still gone. Right. So what can you say? Keep, yeah. keep communicating and love them and just that's hope it. that they're not in that situation. That's, that's it. That's yeah. it. Well, girl, can I tell you something? I, I'm yes. just saying, you know, I love to give love, but your skin's flawless. You're looking that's like a hundred million dollars over there. Okay. <laughs> and I know you have something new, your own line. Can you tell us about that's it and true. congratulations. Thank you. Um, it's Ladybug Skincare. Uh, ladybugs actually in the product. Is any truth to that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no truth to that. But this is all natural. Right. Everything with Ladybug Skincare is all natural. This actually has turmeric in it, and is a um, it's a natural exfoliant. It exfoliates your skin without any harsh or abrasive um, ingredients that's involved in it. So, I mean, your skin is going to be flawless and amazing and beautiful. And you're not going to have dark circles. You're not going to have those fine lines around your eyes. And I know everybody says that black don't crack, but you have to continue to maintain. Absolutely. So, how do we yeah. order it? You go to Ladybug Skincare. Dot com. And if you DM mm. me, I'll give you a um, promotional discount code if you DM me. <laughs> hey, listen, when are you guys going to start recording the show again for the Braxton? Um, I think it's, we're going to try it pretty soon. Um, okay. I think, you know, the, the states are opening up a little bit so that okay. you know, they have, um, I guess, different rules for different things. Like my son just started um, football practice. Okay. Yeah. And it's like mandated by the state where you can only do 10 students or 10 kids at a time and all of that. So they just like staggered. But I'm just keeping my fingers crossed because we have a lot of wonderful, amazing things to talk about on Braxton Family Values. Let me tell you that right now. At the end of the day, Tawana, <laughs> and all of this stuff is the chips at the ground and you're looking at each other, sister to sister. Who who are they saying, OK, let's listen to them. Who is it? That would be me. It's her. That would be me. And a lot of times I just sit back and kind of listen. I, I listen to what everyone else has to say, because typically with my family, as strong as our personalities are, sometimes we tend to just listen to a person only to get our comments ready. You know, right. um, but for me, I like to sit back and listen to what everyone has to say and then say, well, let's look at it from this perspective. Maybe they, you know, look at it from that perspective and we can come together and um Get well, that's on. the perception that I that I got, but I didn't want to assume. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a pleasure talking to you, Tawanda Braxton. Thank you so much, darling. We appreciate you. Love you. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much. All right, thank, thank you. you. Bye, sugar. Bye. Thank you.